Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and boy, have I got a tasty little 3D printable treat here for you. It's it's you can't actually eat it, but it is free, and I think you're gonna enjoy this. It's called the Dumb Pro 9. It's a it's a dummy for your uh, GoPro, and that way you can use this thing instead of uh, your expensive action camera when you're testing out those super sweet, awesome new FPV moves. I'm going to tell you more about this right after I tell you that the sponsor for this video is none other than PCB Way. Thanks to them for sponsoring this because in case you haven't heard about PCB Way, they make custom printed circuit boards and that's what PCB stands for. So maybe you're working on an electronics project and you've designed a circuit board. You can send that design to PCB Way and they can actually make that for you. And not only that, but they can assemble it with components of your choosing from all of the components that they have to offer, which is a pretty cool service. But maybe you're working on another DIY project and you need some prototyping help. Well, they offer rapid prototyping services like 3D printing, sheet metal bending, CNC machining, or injection molding, which is pretty cool because I have a 3D printer but you might not, you might need something 3D printed or maybe, uh, you know, I don't have a CNC machine. If I need something CNC'd, I'm gonna check that out for sure. So if that sounds at all interesting to you, go check the link down in the description of this video to PCB Way. Now back to the Dumb Pro 9. So this is, the cool thing about this is it's hollow on the inside. So it consists of two parts, the top half, which is the larger half, and then the bottom half, which is um, the part that has the ears or the tabs to mount with a, a standard GoPro mount. Now, the only part that um, is not 3D printable, is, or four parts actually, are four screws that you need. And these are M3, um, at least by 10 or longer. And those are gonna attach the bottom plate to the top half. Now, what I've done for mine, uh, because I'm using a uh, Hero 9 right now, 25 nickels, is what I need to match the weight of the Hero 9. So what I've done is I've uh, sandwiched those 25 nickels with some spongy black foam, and that's to keep everything from rattling around and to keep the weight from shifting uh, within the cavity. And then once you do that, you just put the bottom plate on and screw in those four screws. And um, it should be a flush fit. Uh, it kind of depends on how you print it. But either way, that should be enough to keep it on and keep it in place. Now, you might be thinking, well, those little uh, you know, tabs, those are just little plastic tabs. Those are probably going to break off. Well, that's kind of the point. Um, I printed this in two parts because I wanted to make sure that um, if, if it got damaged or if those tabs do break off, it would be really easy to print another bottom half or, or the bottom plate. Um, and that, that'd be a lot faster and easier to print that. And most likely the top half is not gonna be damaged. I mean, you'd have to really smash this thing uh, to break it. And of course that depends on how you print it and what kind of filament you're using to print this. In my case, I used 3D Fuel PLA Pro and that seemed to be very durable. Now, of an earlier version, I did use some uh, just some cheap uh, white PLA filament and I did have a crash when I was testing this thing out and it did break off. And it wasn't actually the tabs that broke, it was actually like the top layer um, that the tabs were attached to that broke off of there. So definitely, if you wanna make this more durable, print it with um, more uh, infill so that you have uh, more you know, connection. And as far as printing this, I'd suggest printing the top half upside down so that the opening is facing up. That way you don't have to deal with any overhanging issues. And then the bottom plate, if you want to use the tabs, just print it like normal so that the, uh, the, fl the large flat side is going to be touching the build plate. Um, if you don't want the tabs, maybe you're putting it in a different type of mount. What you can do is actually just take the top plate in your uh, slicer software and rotate it so that the tabs are pointing down towards the build plate and then lower it so that it is flush with the build plate and the tabs are actually kind of like below the build plate and it just won't print those. And again, you can get this from my website, rcwithadam.com in the 3D printing section. And I'll have a link down in the description below this video. Please let me know if you've printed it out and uh, how it's been working for you. I'd love to see some uh, pictures on Instagram. You can tag me on there at RC with Adam. And um, I know this isn't like a perfect, you know, I'm not super duper happy with how this turned out. It could be improved in a few ways, but hey, if you have some suggestions, leave those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.
we'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles that show.